Hey true entertaining football fans, this is Luca Q here and uh, today I'll be reviewing the Arsenal and the Aston Villa match for the 24th of March. And uh, so, yeah, we start with, um, both teams start with a 4-2-3-1 formation that has how it comes out between Arsene Wenger and Alex McLeish. And um, no many changes for Arsenal in the 1-0 win over victory over Aston Villa, only one change. Jovino comes in for Aaron Ramsey. Ramsey drops on the bench. And then um, before the game, we had Lauren Koscielny got injured in the warm-up. So Johan Giroud came in as a replacement. And next after that, Arsenal started brightly with a great tempo play in the middle of the pass. With a great chance with Kieran Gibbs. Trying to get Robin Van Persie in the middle to prevent a score. But... James Collins clears it out of the way after that. Villa had a, a counter-attack with Matthew O'Brien with three against one. And then Aston Villa, it went wide for Matthew O'Brien. And then Arsenal had a great chance to take the lead from a little touch from RVP and Theo Walcott and Sanya combined together. They first had a shot. Walcott had a little touch and Sanya had a shot and it went over. And then after that, in the first quarter of an hour, Jovino coming in the middle of the play. But Kieran Gibbs scores and squeezes it past in the 16th minute. So there we have it, people. So that's 1-0 to the Arsenal. And then after that, Villa didn't really have any chances. Despite they had a couple of chances, went over. Had a few counter-attack breaks. But Arsenal cleared it out of the way. Their defence was absolutely fine today. No problem. Didn't really do much in the game, guys. Because Villa didn't really play well. Despite they've lost some firepower in their team. Darren Ben is injured for the season. Robbie Keane's gone back to America. So, basically, guys, um, Arsenal made it 2-0 with Phil Walcott. It went straight past Trey, giving a great little finish from Phil Walcott. Down the middle of him, Walcott made a little great sprint. And then Phil Walcott, bang, made it 2-0 to the Arsenal. And then it was half-time Arsenal 2, Aston Villa nil. And then uh, after that, um, we started in the second half. Arsenal didn't really have any chances. Arsenal just kept playing a normal passing tempo. And Villa had didn't really have any chances. And then uh, Chesney kept catching the ball and all that stuff. And then uh, after that, uh, we had an Arteta late free kick at the end. A great thunderbolt strike. But Arsenal made it 3-0 after when it went straight in the back of the net. So, yeah. So, basically, that is good result for the Arsenal. A 3-0 win over Arsenal. That basically that makes it seven straight wins in a row for the Gunners. And uh, basically, with Chelsea drawing 0 0 against Tottenham today, that puts pressure on them. And it's a, and basically Arsenal are in a decent position with eight points clear against Chelsea. Because Chelsea, the problem is Chelsea, they're not in the Champions League spot because basically um Chelsea still have to play us in April. And uh, basically, with Chelsea and Tottenham falling, that puts Arsenal in a decent position with Arsene Wenger trying to finish third in the Barclays Premier League. But basically, um, Chelsea and Tottenham didn't really do well today because I watched the game and then uh, basically it wasn't really a good game between Chelsea and Tottenham. So it was a great result for Arsenal and... Uh, Seven wins in a row, eight points clear, and uh, basically, um, do you think, guys, do you think we'll get Lucas Podolski in the summer? Arsene Wenger said it in his press conference yesterday that we will sign a player. It's No medical's not been done yet. There's not been agreeing a deal yet, but to me, guys, I think we will possibly get Lucas Podolski in the summer, but anything can happen. I hope we get him, and, and Arsene Wenger said he will sign some quality signs, but... Not many signs. Basically, we can get players like Gotze, Van Torgen, Baines, players like that, experienced players that can bring a little bit of quality in the team. So, yeah. So, basically, please press the like button and uh, please leave a comment down below telling what you thought about the game. And, uh, guys, you can follow me on www.youtube.com forward slash LucaQO20394 and uh, go to my YouTube channel. And uh, please subscribe. So, yeah. So, this is Luke Q here. For the next time, people. See you next week.